Hello stunning fan, Michelle here. We're glad you stopped by. In today's video, we're making an espresso pod holder. The goal was to use the wood with the pretty markings on the front um, and then to use some scrap quarter inch ply that I had for the sides. I like to order my Nespresso pods in bulk and I was needing a way to easily store them without taking up extra real estate on the counters in my very small kitchen. I wanted a pod holder that my Nespresso machine could actually sit on top of with the rubber mat that I had purchased underneath so that it wouldn't take up any extra space on my counter. I also wanted a holder that could fit 80 pods. I didn't want it to have individual holes or slots. I just wanted something that I could easily load a large amount of pods into quickly. After looking around for one online and in stores and not finding what I really liked, I determined that we we're gonna have to create one if I really wanted it to fit all my needs. So we decided a feed bin style box would be the best design and we could add a hinged lid on the front to hide the pods. This would make it really easy to just dump entire boxes of pods into the bin without much effort. And we could also hold a lot of pods. So as you've seen, we cut all the wood to our custom size, and then we angled the front to give it that feed bin look, and also a place to attach a hinged lid. We are a lifestyle channel that features a variety of content from cooking, unboxing videos, to anything that can be a DIY style project. And we would really love it if you would like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified the next time that we decide to share one of our projects. Then we nailed it all together with brad nails and stained it with early American stain. We applied some rubber stoppers to the bottom of the bin to keep it from moving around on the counter. Then came the fun and more creative portion of the build, and that was designing the hinge door. We designed a coffee saying stencil on our Cricut, and then we painted it onto the door. We attached a knob to the front of the door, and then we screwed it on. Overall, I'm very pleased with the holder. It actually holds 120 pods, and it fits my Nespresso maker on top of it perfectly. Again, thanks for stopping by and have an amazing day.